was an alias BAAP of Laic Beta, roles changed after Jay and Garland had lynched and convicts, Yashwant Sinha a mob of more than 100 cow vigilantes had on June 27 last year hacked cattle trader Alamedin and Sari to death in broad daylight in Ramgar area of Hazarabad district. New Delhi, former finance minister Yashwant Sinha on Saturday said he did not approve of his son Jayant Sinha's felicitation of eight men convicted in the Ramgar lynching case in Jharkhand. Taking to Twitter, Yashwant Sinha said, Earlier I was the Nalayak BAAP of Alayak Beta. Now the roles are reversed. That is Twitter. I do not approve of my son's action. But I know even this will lead to further abuse. You can never win. Earlier I was the Nalayak BAAP of Alayak Beta. Now the roles are reversed. I do not approve of my son's action. But I know even this will lead to further abuse. You can never win. Yashwant Sinha at Yashwant Sinha, the 7th of July 2018, Jayant Sinha courted controversy when he welcomed and faded the eight men after they were released on bail on Thursday. Soon after, the opposition accused him and the Bharatiya Janata Party (BJP) of fanning communal tensions deliberately. The union minister defended himself in a series of tweets on Saturday, claiming that he was honoring the due process of law. Sinha said he was pleased that the High Court will now hear the matter as he had his misgivings about the fast-track court judgment sentencing each accused to life imprisonment. Betting for the rule of law, Sinha said he rejects any type of vigilantism and condemn all acts of violence. A mob of more than 100 cow vigilantes had on June 27 last year hacked cattle trader Alamedin and Sari to death in broad daylight in Ramgar area of Hazarabah district. Sinha represents the Hazarabah seat in Lok Sabha. The gruesome lynching had shook the nation and the case was handed over to a fast-track court which on March 21 this year completed the hearing in a record five months and sentenced 11 accused to life imprisonment. All accused went to the Jharkhand High Court from where eight of them got bail on June 29, exactly a year after the incident. The life sentences handed to the eight men, including BJP functionary, were suspended by the High Court in Jharkhand last week. The men walked out of the J. Prakash Narain Central Jail and headed straight to the residence of Sinha, where the minister garlanded them. Responding to the outrage emanating from active garlanding the accused men, Sinha took to Twitter to present his defense. I have full faith in our judicial system and the rule of law. Unfortunately, irresponsible statements are being made about my actions when all that I am doing is honoring the due process of law. Those that are innocent will be spared and the guilty will be appropriately punished. Jayant Sinha, at Jayant Sinha, July 7, 2018 I have repeatedly expressed my misgivings about the fast-track court judgment sentencing each accused to life imprisonment. I am pleased that the humble High Court will hear the matter as a statutory court of appeal to test the correctness of the fast-track court order. Jayant Sinha, at Jayant Sinha, July 7, 2018 In the Ramgar case, the Hunbal Ranchi High Court, which is the first court of appeal, has suspended the sentence of the accused and released them on bail while admitting their case. The case will once again be reheard, Jayant Sinha, at Jayant Sinha, July 7, 2018 I unequivocally condemn all acts of violence and reject any type of vigilantism. The rule of law is supreme in our constitutional democracy. Any unlawful acts, particularly those that violate the rights of any citizen, should be punished with the full force of the law. Jayant Sinha, at Jayant Sinha, July 7, 2018 Lashing out at the minister, former Jharkhand CM in Jharkhand Mukti Morcha, JMM, leader Hemant Soren told News 18 that it was a very sensitive issue and what Sinha did was absolutely unbecoming of a union minister. Jharkhand State Congress Chief Ajoy Kumar accused BJP of fanning communal sentiments as the Raghubar Das government in the state and Narendra Modi government at the center failed to deliver on their promises. Jayant Sinha had questioned the manner in which the police investigated the case and demanded a CBI inquiry in April this year. 
justifying the welcome accorded to the convicts. BJP leader Amarty Piatov said that Sinha always believed that they were innocents and framed in the case. That's why he provided legal and monetary assistance to them in his personal capacity. There is nothing wrong in supporting innocent people. Referring to the three other convicts, Yadav expressed hope that they too would get bail from the high court as necessary paperwork was underway. Jayant Sinha personally examined the papers related to the case and interacted with lawyers, claimed Yadav.